Chelsea Sherrod here with our sports betting specialist, Sammy P. And Sammy, I've got to get your take on the Celtics right now because I believe that they are the sleeper mm. team and that they're making a huge case to make a deep run into the playoffs. They've won 14 of their last 16. Most recently, just got that huge win over the Nets with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving in the lineup. Have their title odds changed at all through this last stretch? No, the biggest move came at the end of January when they started to get hot. I mean, you could have gotten the Celtics at like 60 to 1 or something like that in Las Vegas to win the NBA championship. And now you look, it's 20, 22, 25. So the odds haven't changed over the last week or two, but they've been sincerely cut down from where they were in late January when they were as high as 150 to 1 uh, to win the, uh, was it the division, I think, at some point? Like yeah. the odds were just astronomical yeah. and and now like they're where they started going into the season so I don't think they're going to win the East I don't think they're going to win the championship but you right. certainly applaud that they're playing better basketball absolutely it's a lot more fun to watch too okay the Miami Heat still the first in the Eastern Conference standings Philadelphia three games back but now they've got the James Harden Joel and B tandem that's like wreaking havoc over there which is pretty fun to watch too but the Nets are still the favorite to come out of the East at plus 260 is Brooklyn who better should still put their money on? No, I, I wouldn't. I mean, the time to bet Brooklyn was when the trade first happened because yeah. then they sort of blew out to 10 to 1 or so, and then professionals came in and knocked the 10 down to 4, and now here we are, you know, plus 260 to win the East. Um, obviously, almost double that to win the championship, but I've, I've watched them play. Yeah. You know, and I think it's, it's misleading to think that three very good players who haven't played together can all of a sudden turn it on in a seven game series and win all of those series to get to the championship. I think Miami is my bet in the East. You can find them if you shop around at five, 550. So 100 makes you five or $550. A total team, right? I don't think they have a legit superstar. Jimmy Butler's a great player. Right. Is he a top five player in the league? No, yeah. but Jimmy Butler is perfect for that team. They shoot the three well, they defend well, and Spo is a very good schemer for other teams in the East. So I think Miami right now is the best bet to win the East and maybe worth the title better on 10 to one. Okay, speaking of the top five players in the East, let's talk MVP odds. Joel Embiid, Nikola Jokic are the top dogs in this race. Who do the books think will take it? Well, they've got Embiid as the favorite and you look at him, I mean, he's averaging 30 points a game on a very good team in the Eastern Conference right now. And, and what the sports books will do is they will sort of hone in on the top two. Yeah. To your point, it's Embiid and Jokic. And then they will make the odds higher mm -hmm. on everybody else. Right. They know it's one of those two guys. We saw a nice push from John Morant, mm -hmm. a nice push from DeMar DeRozan. Mm -hmm. But you always have to beware in this space. Beware for the hot name late in the game. Yeah. Odds are good that it's a good bet maybe like two months ago but when they start to inflate these numbers, especially on like a Jason Tatum or so, right. don't watch that game on Sunday and think MVP because it's not going to happen. And I was going to ask you about Jason Tatum because he's been that guy since the new year. Is he being shortchanged with MVP prices? I, sure, I guess. Are we going to yeah. slap a little disrespect <laughs> on him? I don't sure. know. 300 to 1 at DraftKings. So 100 times 300, that's your payout. You do the math. It's a big number, but he's not going to win. It's not right. a knock on Jason Tatum. Like I just said, what the books will do is they will make you look at that screen, scroll down, and go, ooh, Tatum's 300 to 1. It's because he's not going to win. End of story. Right. Okay. He's been sure been looking like the MVP as of late, but we'll leave that there. Okay. Just about one more calendar month left in the NBA regular season. Sammy, you're the best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>